Hello guys, it's Chum. So today I'm doing my anime collection. So, when I say anime collection, it's kind of a loose term though, because I have wall scrolls, manga, light novels, and actual like anime duty slash blurries. So I'll go ahead and get into this. I'll start off with the wall scrolls first. So let's get into that. Alright, so first up, we have this one here. This is from Naruto. You can see there are, uh, we have Kakashi, Sasuke, and in the background is Orochimaru. Then, um, next up, we'll go to my can wall scroll. The four original band members, sorry, Azusa, but I mean, she, she's pretty cool, but she's not in this one. So, there is that one. Then there is Rika from Chinibio. Um, that looks really cool over there. I used to have a Son uh, Super Sonic poster up there, but put that in my game room because Super Sonic's more gaming related, but you know, she looks really good over there. And lastly, we have uh, Kurumi from Data Live. So, yeah. Alright, now on to my manga. Alright, so uh, my first few manga, they're kind of sporadic, because um, I just kind of have a lot of random ones from the series. So, Naruto, I just have a lot of random Naruto ones. Um, so I just had 27. Um, don't ask why, they're all just so random. But, yeah. Then we go to 51. Then... 57, 59, 60, 64, 65, uh, 66, and then lastly I have 67. I don't know why it's so sporadic, I just kind of got what I could. Um, so I just have a lot of random ones, which is fine, but at the same time, is from a collection purpose, I kind of don't like that, so might complete that eventually. Um, next up, we'll go to Shugo Char. Now, Shugo Char is kind of a similar thing. Um, I started at one point, and then I couldn't find a lot of the older ones, so the only one I have from 1 to 5 is volume number 2, so yeah. Then I kind of was able to find a lot of them, so we go to 6, 7, 8, 9, and we go to 10. Uh, wherever I got my books from, they didn't actually ever get 11 or 12, so yeah. Alright, next up um, is the Melikai uh, Suzumi Ahari Chen, and I do have a bookmark there because I'm reading this. But, yeah, I just have the first one of this. Alright, so next up we have uh, Black Lagoon, and I just have the first one of this. Alright, next up, uh, No Game to Life, just uh, Volume 1. Then, A uh, Testament of Sister Devil. Then we have uh, Nanan Biriri, which I have actually two of these. So, one and two. Um, I got a High School DXT. And then, Angel Beats Heaven's Door, there's that one. And then we have Nichijou, now Nichijou I have a few of, so I have uh, Volumes 1, 2, 3, and 4. Alright, next up is Soul Eater. Now Soul Eater is kind of weird because um, I couldn't find anything from 17 and before, so I just have everything from after that, so I have 18, 19, 20, 21, uh, next up would be 22, which I do have, but it was in my book bag, which I put some stuff in another room in a closet, and I must have put that with it, so I'll have to go find that eventually, or later on or something, but I do have 22, but it just isn't with me right now, so yeah, we have 23, 24, and we have, lastly, the final volume, which is 25. Um, Alright, next up we go to Danmachi, which I just had the first one of. Then we go to Dead Man Wonderland, which I have one, two, three, and four. Alright, so next up is Niskoi, which I just have two of, so there's the first and the second, and then we go to 
Mayo Chiki, which is kind of weird because now in the Japanese release, this is actually one through three, as you can see it's a really big um, book here, which for whatever reason when it got ported to America, they just took the first three volumes and combined them. And after that, four and five are combined into one, and six and seven are also one, so I don't know what they were doing, but whatever. Alright, next up we go to Watamote, which I have one, two, three, and then I also have four. Could not find five last time I went, so yeah. Then we go to uh, Sword Art Online, this is Girls Ops, which I just had the first one of. Alright, then we go to the Willy Magi series, which I have Madoka Magica, the first one. Then I have Madoka Magica, the different story, which I have the first and the second. Then from uh, Oriko Magica, I have Sadness Prayer, just the first one. That's all my manga that I have. Um, next up, I'll go on to light novels. Alright, so now on to light novels. Now, first up, you have No Game, No Life, which I actually have the second one of. Now, the reason I have the second one and not the first is because I couldn't remember if I had the first or sec or first manga or light novel, so I just wanted to get the second light novel, which kind of got mixed up, so yeah. I have to go back and get the first. Um, anyway, then we go to Denmachi. So I have one and two. Then we go to Sword Art Online. Now, Sword Art Online, I have the first one of Aincrad, and then we go to Progressive, which I have one, uh, two, three, and also four. Then we go to the next one, which this is um, L Changed the World, which is kind of a Death Note sort of thing, which this book is just, it's really good. Like, I like this thing a whole lot. Um, yeah. Then, uh, then there's actually Naruto light novels, and first up here, this is Tachi's story, or Midnight, and then there's also Sasuke's story, or Sunrise. Now we go to the Haruhi Suzumiya series. Now, I have a lot of these. I have eight, so yeah. First up here is the Melancholy of Haruhi Suzumiya. Then the Sai of Haruhi Suzumiya. The Boredom of Haruhi Suzumiya. Disappearance of Haruhi Suzumiya. The Rampage of Haruhi Suzumiya. The Wavering Haruhi Suzumiya. The Intrigues of Haruhi Suzumiya. And the last one I have is called The Indignation of Haruhi Suzumiya, which I'm also reading this currently. So yeah, that is all of my light novels. Now we'll get on to the actual Blu-rays and DVDs and all that good stuff. Alright, so first up, I'm going to start with things that are not complete series. So first up, I'll start with this. This is Ruby Volume 3. I do plan to get all the other volumes. I just saw this for cheap at Best Buy, so I got this. So this is a Blu-ray DVD uh, combo pack. And as you can see, uh, this is the DVD. This is the Blu-ray. So, yeah. Alright. Next up, um, I have two Naruto things here. So first up... Um, this is the uncut box at one, and there's this sort of uh, little storyboard thing. And then this opens up and uh, disc one, disc two, and disc three. So, yeah, pretty cool. Um, this is like the first, I think, 13 episodes, I want to say. Um, so, yeah. Then we go to this. This is the uncut box set. Season 3, Volume 1. I believe this has the entire Sasuke Retrieval arc. So, yeah. You can see there's Disc 1, Disc 2, Disc 3, Disc 4, Disc 5, and then also Disc 6. Now, these are obviously both uh, DVDs. So, yeah. Next up, we'll go over to the Soul Eater uh, Complete Series. Now, going on to all the Complete Series I have, which I don't have too many of, but yeah. So, Uh, disc 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and disc 8. So, yeah. Alright, next up is Grim Lagan. Um, really don't like how this is set up in here, but whatever. You can see there's discs. Um, 
one, two, three, four, and then five and or five and then six. So I'm not a fan how it's set up, but whatever. Um, oh, um, Soul Leader and Gremlagon were both the DVD sets. If I did not mention that. I have Angel Beats. This is the DVD set. Um, don't think there's a Blu-ray set. There might be. I don't know, but yeah, really basic looking in here. Um, so you have disc one, disc two, and then disc three. Um, pretty simple stuff. Next up we have Dead Man Wonderland. This is a DVD Blu-ray combo pack, which I always like these things, so yeah. And take the sleeve off here, open it up. So you have the DVDs, uh, discs one and two. Then you have the Blu-rays, discs one and two there. So, yeah. Alright, next up, we'll go to Mario Cheeky. And Mario Cheeky, there it is. Alright. Um, yeah, I'm pretty basic. And then we have disc one, uh, two, and also three there. Alright, now we have uh, Death Note. This is the Omega Edition, which I don't know who designed this uh, packaging, but I don't know why it just does this. This isn't just mine either, just I don't. I, I don't. I mean, it, it looks fine if it was like this, but you see the back, and it opens up mainly to show you the Omega symbol, which, I mean, I feel like a lot of people have seen, you know, the Omega symbol before, so I don't know why it's like this, but whatever. Um, I'm not complaining about the box, so I'll just show you what you get. Um, this special Death Note, sort of like manga type thing, um, which is pretty cool. And then also you get the special... Omega Edition um, set. So you have discs one, two, three, four, and then uh, you have disc five, which is the series. But then there's also a disc uh, six here, which pretty much is for the feature films. And yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, I do enjoy that they gave you those, which, you know, really didn't need to. But I guess this is the Omega Edition. So that's cool. Next up we have, um, and that's also the Blu-ray set, by the way, but anyway, so we have the Monk High Park pieces of me, yeah, this is the DVD set, and, yeah, so, here it is, um, so you have discs one, two, three, and then four for the series, and there's disc five here, which is all the extras and cool stuff, so, uh, yeah, it's really all of my anime stuff I have. So, uh, yeah. Anyways, uh, comment, thumbs up, subscribe. Thanks for watching, and bye.